Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over the SEMrush WordPress plugin. This is also known as their SEO writing assistant. If you have a blog post that you want to optimize a little bit better, get some more suggestions, this is going to be something that's going to be helpful if you have a SEMrush account. If you don't or you'd like to test it out, I will put a link in the description that comes with a free trial so you can see exactly what they have to offer in terms of helping you with your SEO. So pretty simple. This is going to be the page where you can download it. Here's going to be the download button. Once you do, you're going to want to head over to your website. Of course, there's going to be the plugin section, add new upload plugin should be pretty standard stuff. And of course, you're going to want to activate it. As you can see right here, mine already is. And some of the key features I'm just going to go over quickly, and then I'll show you they have readability, they use the flesh Kincaid score to assess and improve your text readability, recommended keywords, so you can receive semantically related keyword suggestions that help boost your visibility. Tone of voice will ensure that your tone is smooth and consistent across your text. Plagiarism check, you can verify that your writer has submitted original content and avoid penalization. Rephraser, which is rework pieces of text to improve quality, target different channels or overcome writer's block. And overall score, which you can overall just evaluate and maximize your SEO potential. So how it works is I talked about download, uh, add it to plugins, upload it, and so on and so forth. So when you want to use it, as it says right here, go to the page, the post you want to optimize and click on connect SEO content template. It'll be towards the bottom of the section of the page. When you do that, you also do need to be logged into SEMrush to do that as well. So here is where I am towards the bottom. So for this, this was webinar kit. So what I want to do is just add in, I'll say webinar kit review enter and you got to do at least two keywords so i'll go with also to say webinar kit uh features and from there i want to click on get recommendations target audience for me is going to be us and let's go with desktop and let's see what we get all right so once it loads what i'm going to do is kind of just quickly go through each of these sections you can click on each of them readability seo originality tone of voice but if you scroll down you're going to say readability uh target's going to be 54.8 it says the language of your text may be considered too basic by an expert audience try using more advanced words and sentences now right off the bat i'm going to say these are recommendations when i am writing articles i don't want to be super advanced i don't want to use a lot of these big advanced terminologies because when you think about in my opinion depending on your audience like if you're writing for scientists or rocket science yeah you're going to be pretty advanced but when it comes to software the more i talk about them the less i want to go into the deep uh diving of what's going to be happening beyond the surface and really just get into a quote unquote what's called techno babble once you start using a lot of these phrases you're going to lose a lot of people and people want to know mostly about what the software is going to be doing how it's going to help them in simple terms so while this says yeah it might be considered too basic or simple that's kind of what i'm going for so that's something to keep in mind just because it says that doesn't mean you have to change it around in this, I have 3,800 words. What can I say? I like to write a lot. Uh, target's going to be around 1,100. So that is something I could consider. Certainly chop it up a little, look at some of the top 10 competitors, make sure that they're comparing the, the proper ones because a lot of a lot of websites you don't want to compare to. Some websites can rank with just like a thousand words. Some need more, some need more backlinks. So something to consider, but I could definitely chop a lot of words out of this. Talks about title issues, nothing there. It says your title is longer than 60 characters. It could be truncated when displayed in search results. Overall, not the biggest uh, thing in my opinion. You could always make this an and sign or you know features overview and demo, just that and so on and so forth. Everything else looks pretty good here. But I do want to let you know, instead of scrolling down, you can just simply click on each section that you want to improve and it's going to go to it, as you can see. So tone of voice is going to be neutral, consistency, good job. Uh, most casual cases, like these are definitely, I don't know if you've noticed if you've seen a lot of my writing, but I like uh, typing or writing like I'm talking. Don't worry though. It's as if I'm having a conversation with someone. So yes, there's going to be some casual sentences there. So most formal sentences, if you want to mess with those, you can. Originality. Um, I don't have a guru subscription. I think I talked about that before, but overall, that's kind of what you're going to be getting when it comes to their writing assistant. A few things that you can tweak around and change. And some of these aren't going to be a huge deal. I'd say the biggest thing is definitely going to be the words. I might be over optimized for that in terms of words. I could probably cut some down and then go from there. But if you wanted like a quick look at it, how you can get a, a few quick wins, that's what the SEMrush WordPress plugin is going to be in case you want a different angle of attack. I've had that before. I remember where I was in a snippet war for it felt like a year. 
uh, just because the traffic was so good. And I focused mostly on that for a very long time. And eventually, like you try so many things that you want different angles of attack. This is definitely a great way to do it if you're looking for just the smallest details that you never know could really make the change, help you get that top position, that snippet, whatever it's going to be. But overall, that was a very quick overview of the SEMrush WordPress plugin known as the Writing Assistant. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I will also have a link in the description where you can get a free trial to SEMrush. Thank you so much for watching. My name is James and I'll see you in the next video.